All right, today we're going to get back into and dive even deeper into the common mistakes they see people make when trying to put on muscle. So instead of just laying your head down at night, praying to sweet little baby Jesus to put an inch on your arms, let's just identify the problem so you can stop screwing it up so it's easy. If you're ready, let's get after it. So every time I meet with somebody, we're digging into the reasons why they're not getting the results they want, why they're not putting on muscle. It's usually a couple different things, but more often than not, there's always some major flaw with their diet. And that comes in a couple of different forms. The first being that there is no structure. The person just goes throughout their day, tries to eat healthy, make good decisions, but humor me on this. Think of all the dumb shit you've justified in your life. I'll wait. I'm sure a couple of those things came with a tattoo as well. Don't worry, me too. So it's easy to see how several times during the day you can easily justify having some bad food. Like when you don't have enough energy, you're feeling weak, Maybe you got a carb load with an entire pizza before you work out. Or even worse, you're hiding under the guise of being an intuition eater. In that case, just change your name to Diabeter right now because you're f <laughs> Who the hell puts away weight like this? The next comes in the form of a person who has incredible structure, but horrible consistency. And I can empathize with this because anybody who really takes this seriously will tell you that that hour you spend in the gym is nowhere near as hard as those 23 hours outside of the gym. That's where the work is done. So to make it a little bit easier on yourself, all you do is strip away all the variables. So say you have a diet or meal plan that gives you a bunch of different options. So you can have a couple of different things for breakfast, lunch, whatever it may be. Strip all that away and make it very clear that you can only have one thing for each meal, right? So say breakfast is a protein shake, that's all you can have. Lunch, if you can have you know, a lean protein source and then 30 grams of carbs, pick your protein source, pick your carb source, and don't change it. The next thing is always be prepared. Now the business owners may not know this, but every place I go consistently, I always hide a little Ziploc bag of protein. So if you're at the gym, you find one under a treadmill, that was me. Or if you're at Safeway and you just grab the last box of Golden Grams, you find one there, also me. And the last one, and probably the most frequent offender, is the person who's not willing to sacrifice short-term happiness for their long-term goal. And I get it, donuts are life. But if this is you, the only way you're gonna make a change is when you decide one day that enough's enough. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you do what's hard. You cancel Taco Tuesday, you tell your girlfriend or boyfriend that and then we have to start eating healthy for dinner. And if not, I'm gonna next you. All right, let's go a little bit deeper into training intensity because it's rare you go to the gym, you see somebody pushing themselves so hard that you fear for their well-being. But cranking up the tension in any exercise is simple. Just ask yourself this three times. So try rope extensions. How do I make that harder? Well, if I slow that negative, that's gonna suck. How do I make that harder? Well, if I superset it with the overhead extension, that's really gonna suck. How do I make that harder? Well, on that second superset, if I do a drop set three times, it's going to take me pretty close to death. Now you're on the right track. Because all you're trying to do is balance between creativity and being a little bit of a psychopath. That's the key to intensity. Well, that's pretty messed up. Lastly, let's talk about training specifically for growth. Now, I made a video a while back on pull-ups, and some people got it. They understood the concept of shortening the range of motion, finding out what they really connect with, what's gonna get more engagement out of those lats, it's gonna lead to more growth. Some people saw it, hated it. Wasn't a full range of motion, thought none of those pull-ups counted, thought it was complete bullshit. Now, this is where you have to decide what's important to you, because those goals conflict with each other, and you can't have it both ways. If you're trying to build the number of pull-ups you can do while maintaining perfect form, then you're trying to get pound for pound as strong as possible, but that also means as light as possible. Now, if you just want to grow, then you really just have to focus on exercises that you really connect with. So I reach in your pocket, pull any you have left, leave them on the ground. Those perfect pull-up people will pick those up. So as always, like, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a comment for the video you want next, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.